Hi folks, Ryan Malloy here, managing editor of TheSeniorList.com, and today we're taking a closer look at the Iris Flip from Consumer Cellular. Wabam! If you're looking to purchase cellular service with Consumer Cellular, then you'll find a variety of smartphone options to pair with your plan. As of this review, the provider offers the latest smartphones from Apple, Samsung, and Motorola. Much more limited, though, is the provider's selection of simple phones. Currently, Consumer Cellular offers two flip phones, the reliable yet dated Verve Snap and the Iris Flip. And compared to the Verve Snap, the Iris Flip has a longer lasting battery, voice commands, and a new operating system that allows it limited access to the internet. All of these features come at a pretty small markup, with the Verve Snap costing $59 and the Iris Flip costing $69. That said, Consumer Cellular allows you to bring your own phone to their network, opening up your options. So this raises the question, is the Iris Flip worth it? Before we dive into this review, I'd like to remind you to hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to see more footage of me testing out other phones and medical alert systems, be sure to also check us out on TikTok. All right, let's get into it. If you've ever used a flip phone, then the Iris Flip will be pretty familiar. On the phone's exterior, you have a 2-inch screen that displays the time, battery life, and your signal strength. On one side of the phone, you'll find a volume rocker as well as a 3.5mm headphone jack. And on the other side, you'll find the USB-C port for charging. On the inside of the phone, once again, you'll find the standard flip phone keypad. On the top, you'll find two soft keys. One will bring you to your notifications and the other will open your camera. In the center, you'll find the directional pad. Beneath this are the call and end buttons. And then on the right side, you'll find the clear button, which can be used to delete text or return to the previous screen. The one noteworthy difference here with other flip phones is the dedicated speaker button. This button, when pressed during a call, activates or deactivates the speakerphone. Down below, you'll find the standard alphanumeric keypad with one exception. This red button down here is a dedicated favorites button. By pressing this button, you can open a customized list of your favorite contacts. Overall, the Iris Flip looks and feels like just about every flip phone I've tried dating way back to the early 2000s. Naturally, that's not for everyone, but if you want durable simplicity, then this phone has got it. To test the Iris Flip, I made a series of test calls. And both in home and on the go, I found that all of my calls connected easily with clear audio on both ends. I was also impressed by the speaker phone, which was particularly loud. But keep in mind, I do live in a city, Pawtucket, Rhode Island to be specific, so I had full coverage from Consumer Cellular's 4G LTE network. If you live in a more rural area, you'll want to look at Consumer Cellular's website to see if they cover where you are. The Iris Flip is also rated M3 T3 in terms of hearing aid compatibility. While this is lower than the highest rating of M4 T4, I noticed no audio interference when I made test calls with hearing aids. As with any classic flip phone, texting is always a big pain point. However, the Iris Flip incorporates some unique features that make this process a bit easier. To send a message, you have two options. The first is your standard T9 predictive text in which you use the keypad, type out the words based on your number, and then scroll through your options. Back in the day when all we had was flip phones, this was the best option we had. By today's standards though, however, it feels really dated and clunky. Luckily, the Iris Flip has voice texting. So whenever you're typing a message, you can hold down the center button and this triggers the speech to text function, which allows you to speak and the phone will automatically type out your words. How are you doing? If the Iris Flip were my primary phone, this would probably be the way that I send all of my messages. It's much faster than manually typing and it was able to accurately transcribe the majority of my words. Best of all, this feature is not confined to sending text messages. On any of the phone's apps, for example, the internet browser, when presented with a text box, you can hold down the center button and use speech to text. What is the capital of Michigan? On their website, Consumer Cellular calls the Iris Flip the smart flip phone. And while I think it's a stretch to call this phone a smartphone, it does incorporate some smart features that I think will come in handy. As I mentioned, it has the speech to text functionality. It also has a dedicated voice assistant. From the home screen, when you press and hold the center button, you'll activate the voice assistant. This allows you to open various features and even ask questions, much like Google Assistant. For example, when I say open messages, it will open the messages app. Open messages.
When I say, open the internet, it will open the internet app. When I ask it a question, it will perform a search for my question and display the search results. What's the weather today? The one downside of this is that unlike Google Assistant, which will often provide you with answers through a voice response, the Iris Flips voice assistant will only conduct an internet search. For example, when I asked my Jitterbug Flip 2 how many tablespoons there were in a cup, the phone itself responded, there are 16 tablespoons in a cup. With the Iris Flip, asking the same question simply opened up a search on the browser. I then had to use the clunky browser controls to scroll over to the answer. How many tablespoons are in a cup? This really exemplifies the limitations of having smart features on a flip phone. While the built-in internet browser seems like a great idea, it's pretty cumbersome to use. In the absence of a touchscreen, you have to hold down the directional keys to slowly scroll through the pages. In addition to the internet browser, this phone came with built-in apps like YouTube and Google Maps. These I found particularly useful as they're tailored to fit the flip phone's limited controls. Elsewhere in the KaiOS store, there's more free apps like 10 pin bowling alley and a dedicated app to track lunar and solar eclipses. Strangely though, the vast majority of these KaiOS apps are very, very specific. You won't find WhatsApp, Facebook, or even email apps here. As a reviewer of cell phones made for seniors, I gotta say that sometimes it's really the little features that stand out. And in the case of the Iris Flip, what really stuck out to me was the dedicated QR reader. In the wake of COVID, as we all know, many restaurants have shifted to using QR codes to access their digital menus. And while I definitely see the efficiency of this model, not to mention the way it saves restaurants money, I can't help but think of the people who maybe don't have smartphones and therefore can't read QR codes. Luckily, the Iris Flip has a QR reader. With this feature, you can open the QR reader app and then scan the QR codes and scroll through whatever web page it directs you to. Thought it was kind of neat. When it comes to flip phones, I naturally have very low expectations for cameras, and the Iris Flip more or less met these very low expectations. Its one rear camera is rated 5 megapixels, and the images I captured with it were pretty poor in terms of quality. Images taken in low light were rendered incredibly dark, and images taken outdoors in sunlight were usually washed out. Like most flip phones, no images taken with the Iris Flip will be photo album worthy. However, they will get the general point across. For example, if you need to take a photo of a recipe, text will be rendered with enough clarity to read. Unfortunately, the Iris Flip does not have a front-facing camera, so you won't be able to take selfies, at least not easily. The Iris Flip is currently available from a variety of brick-and-mortar locations, including Target and Walmart. However, I chose to purchase the phone from Consumer Cellular's website. The phone cost me $69 plus $12 for shipping, and prices are similar if you decide to purchase the phone in-store, just minus the shipping. I should also note that Consumer Cellular did not charge any hidden activation fees. The phone and shipping were all I had to pay for. Compare this to Lively, who, when I purchased their Jitterbug Smart 4, charged me an additional $25 to activate the phone, even though I activated it myself online. When paired with a Consumer Cellular plan, I had the option of paying as little as $15 per month for a cellular plan. However, since this plan only included 300 minutes of talk, I opted for their next tier of plan for $20 per month. This included unlimited talk, unlimited text, and one gigabyte of data. While Consumer Cellular does offer plans with greater data amounts, I figured that most of the users of the Iris Flip wouldn't be doing too much data-heavy tasks like streaming video. Additionally, since the Iris Flip supports Wi-Fi, when I used the internet in my home, I didn't use any of my data allowance. In terms of pricing, one thing to note with Consumer Cellular is that their monthly prices, as stated on their website, are including a discount for enrolling in AutoPay. With AutoPay enabled, your method of payment will automatically be charged each month. If you opt out of the AutoPay option, then your monthly bill will be $5 higher no matter which plan you choose. Here's what I liked about the Iris Flip. Number one, it's classic flip phone profile. Although the Iris Flip's design is limited, it will be familiar to most users. Next, I really appreciated the voice commands. These allowed me to open apps, trigger features, and most importantly, they allowed me to dictate text, which was vastly preferable to using the traditional T9 typing. It also had large tactile buttons, a large 3.2 inch screen, 
And there was also a simple activation process. When purchased through Consumer Cellular, this phone is shipped with a SIM card pre-installed. To activate this phone, all I had to do was call their support line. The Iris Flip also had a long battery life. In our test, it lasted 19 hours of talk time and seven days on standby. And arguably the most important feature of this phone, it's $69, making it one of the most affordable phones we have tested. On the downside, we have the camera. Keeping in the tradition of flip phones, the Iris Flip's five megapixel camera captures hazy and grainy images. I also thought the internet, while I appreciate it being there, was a little bit awkward to navigate with the phone's physical keypad. But overall, I cannot stress enough, this phone is $69. If you want a phone that can use the latest apps and take high quality photos, you'll probably shell out the extra for a smartphone. If, however, you want a phone that can make calls, send texts, and perform the occasional internet function, then I would wholeheartedly recommend the Iris Flip. To read our full review of the Iris Flip and check out our updated list of the best phones for seniors, be sure to check us out at theseniorlist.com. See you next time.